Hello, here's the Gospel reading and a reflection for Wednesday the 16th of September. The reading is from Luke chapter 7, beginning at verse 31. Jesus said, To what then will I compare the people of this generation, and what are they like? They're like children, sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another, We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine, and you say, he has a demon. Son of man has come eating and drinking, and you say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Nevertheless, wisdom is vindicated by all her children. Some people are never satisfied. I think we all know this. And um, one of the things that clergy often say one another, to one another is, you can't please everyone. Whatever you do, there'll be somebody who doesn't like it, and you just get used to it. And often with good reason, of course. So here's Jesus saying, what do you want? John the Baptist, the ascetic, comes. You don't like that. I come eating and sitting down with tax collectors and sinners and drinking and partying and say, look, he's good for nothing, he's a party animal. But in the end, it's wisdom that matters. In the end, it's what's the end result? Is it, is it an end result which brings people closer to God or not? If the answer is yes, then it, it doesn't much matter the style of the person doing it. Uh, you just... You just accept that this is the right way to go. So what Jesus is saying is people are so superficial very often in their judgments. They judge on appearances. They don't judge on style rather than looking deeper, looking for the wisdom of God, which may enable them to accept both the ascetics and the party animals. It reminds me, actually, it's not quite the same thing as... Um, but in terms of how clergy are received, the old thing that I still quite like, you know, you go to a new parish, in the first year you can do no wrong, in the second year you can do no right, and in the third year nobody cares anyway. We have to look for something deeper than approval, something deeper than appearances. We need to look for the things of God, which will shine out if they're there, and rejoice in them. A prayer. Lord, help us to look deeper. Help us not to be those people who are never satisfied with anything. Help us to find what is good and true in each and every person. For we ask it in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Bye for now.